Merit from day one, little girl, two years old, just a really wise soul. All growing up, she was always doing artwork, craft work. One day she went outside and she ran into Paige. She says, can I play? And I was like, yeah, sure. And that's how I met Merit. They seem to have this sort of unusual bond. As she grew older, she started to show signs of real, real creativity. Merit has always been a real artist. My cookie bracelet, for example, was um, made by her, and also this bracelet too. When Paige was born, um, she required surgery right away. You go through the transplant period and or surgery, and you have to face the grim reality that someone else's child has died so that your child can live. In about October, I knew that there was something wrong with me. Uh, I was going through rejection. Merritt was always worried about Paige. And when Paige did get sick in grade 12, that's when Merritt decided to change her senior service project to um, organ donation. She said, I don't know what I'd do if I lost Paige. I don't know how I'd live my life without her. And um, that's when she found the David Foster Foundation. The reality of the fact that I was a liver transplant recipient really hit her. So she saw the struggles that they went through, uh, the financial struggles, the emotional struggles. When she was 17 at the time and you're not allowed to um, sign your own card until you're 18 in Alberta. Um, so she got the donor card, the sticker on her card, and her mom signed off for her. Merit was taking a drug for her complexion, and uh, it, it's a hormone-based drug. Unfortunately, one of the side effects of this drug is, is blood clots, and uh, we didn't know how severe it could be and that it could be life-threatening. She got very sick in a very short period of time, and we didn't know she had a blood clot, and it eventually killed her. The night that Merritt passed away, the doctor looked at us, and he said, I'm very sorry, would you consider organ donation? And you know, it's shocking when you're in that position as a parent to, to have somebody ask you that because you've just suffered a tremendous loss. I wasn't sure. We went home that night and Susan said, well, of course we're going to donate her organs. Both corneas and uh, her pancreas uh, and both, both kidneys, kidneys her liver, and her liver and her heart. That my story was able to impact someone else and now because of that one person, now five people have been given life. If it wasn't for someone giving their child's liver to Paige, Paige would never have been here to know merit. If she had not signed a donor card, her life would have ended, and it still did, but now it's not the end. She has a legacy and she's saved five people. Really good to know, you know, that her heart is still beating and that another family is not suffering the loss of their child. When my parents were going through the transplant uh, process with me, there was no such thing as the David Foster Foundation. There was no help, there was no financial aid available to people like my parents. The reason why the David Foster Foundation is so critical uh, is these families are in very vulnerable positions when their children are, are receiving a, an organ. Many of them have to quit their jobs, they have to spend full time, they have other children, they don't have the financial resources to, to be able to do that. And so it starts to create all kinds of other stress on the family. Not just one person gets sick, but everyone in the family gets sick. She picked this foundation and uh, we're so glad she did because all this work that, that David and his group do, um, it's just, it's such amazing work and we're just really proud to be part of it. So what we found out about David Foster Foundation is how they donate to the families and it's just phenomenal. If Merritt were here and she knew that she had done this, I, I, can't, I can't imagine what it would mean to her.